but now one of those druids. I haven't faced that many druids, so I don't know how good this deck is against druid. But let's try with zombie chow Ooh, and some jugglers. Zombie chow. Let's see, what kind of druid is this? Well, I haven't seen an aggro druid for a long time. And I haven't seen an egg druid for a long time actually either. I've basically only seen only seen midrange druids for a really long time. He found his ramp. Let's play the knife juggler. Now without innervate he cannot play keeper yet. The keeper is obviously a lot of trouble. He might rat if he has one. Doesn't feel too good. More living roots. Living roots is better. That's quite alright. I believe this hit is going face. <laughs> An Astral Communion Druid. <laughs> Are you in Legend Dumpster Aggro? The place where strange decks go. When you're done with the grind and you don't care anymore. That explains it. Let's try to deal with the Shredder. There, was able to deal with that one. Now he can't really play a Druid of the Claw here. I could just run the Zombie Chow in and hit it with my weapon. Not strong at all. Shade is much better. <laughs> Cold water. <laughs> I like the sound of double mini bot here. But I have no way to get rid of the shade. So I'd need to be fast. Next turn I could Defender of Argus both of the minibots for example. There's a bunch of stuff I could do. I guess that's a swipe. That looks like a swipe. But if it's swipe, I don't know. What is he doing? It looks like he's in damage control mode. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if I can save my weapon charge. Hit on the keeper and I get a good trade. No hit on the keeper, then I will have to use the weapon to kill the kill the keeper. I guess I'll put down the defender of Argus here. Go the fa go the face with those. Ancient of War would be pretty bad here. I don't really have a good answer to that. There's the Ancient of War. I'd have to sacrifice most of my board to kill it. Doesn't feel good. Five. Ten. I guess I need to go for that. I will have one tree tree taunt left. Let's do that. I'm actually only losing two minions and a divine shield. So I guess it, it's somewhat acceptable. And I did develop a 4 4 on the board. So that's something at least. Okay, using Force of Nature to clear. Well, he can get a full board clear with this. Almost full anyway. And keep his shade in good health. But I can kill off his shade now. 
I just hoped I would draw something more, but this will have to do. Still killing off that 5-2 shade is pretty valuable. But now I'm starting to run out of threats. He still has a good selection of cards. Now he plays something like a boom or... Oh, getting even more cards. I don't like where this is going. Now if he has a rat, he's going to rat here. No, innervating a swipe. I don't like where this is going. I guess I have to play out my hand here. He just used a swipe. He might not have much here. I can't quite trade into that, so I just hit face. I have run out of steam. Should I have used my hero power more and my cards less? That's definitely a possibility. Is he setting up for a combo turn? Maybe. Because I have to turn this into a tree tree. Then I can kill it with the heal, but... None may steal our I can try to get a juggle on the Ancient of Lore. And I did. That saves a little bit of my board. I can still top deck something like a Tyrion. Because he's so low on health that Tyrion, for example, would make a difference here. Oh no, he's getting more cards. He's so much deeper into his deck than I am. Five cards deeper into his deck. That is huge. Combo is 28 here. I found Master now. Has he found the second swipe? Well, I can't... I can't just look and see whether he has found it or not. I just have to hope he hasn't, but he has managed to draw so many cards. But at this point, pushing in five to face, I think that is that is the way I can win this game. If there's a way I can win this game. But if he has a second swipe, if he has found his second swipe, then well, Tyrion is still something, somewhat of a chance. He found both swipes. Ouch. Well, he did have eleven cards left in his deck, so only two thirds in. Now oh, this is getting nasty. I already used the true silver. I already used the true silver beast. I don't have another. <laughs> Quartermaster one turn too late. Either combo beast is lethal. Savage Roar or Force of Nature, either one will do. If he didn't top deck that swipe, he would have been dead. I had, I had a ton of one ones here. So he hasn't found any combo pieces. That means he has to clear. He's going to hero power, so he will be at 4 health. Consecration is not enough. Consecration and this weapon only do 3. I don't think there are any outs left in my deck. Let's go in with some holy fire. I guess I will keep the Gog Hammer. I trust that I can find a two drop. Well, he might respond with Wrath or something, but there's also a chance that it lives. 
and then I can get real cog hammer value. Minibot would have been great with that. Because then it would have been unlikely that he could kill it. You can get a win streak into rank 5, so you can get two stars to start with if you hit it just right. But after that you no longer get win streaks, no more bonus stars. That's why the climb from 5 to legend is so hard, because you actually need 25 wins more than losses. You can get to rank 5, actually I think it was calculated at something like 46% win rate. Obviously no one actually gets to rank 5 with 46% win rate because that would take like a thousand, two thousand games. But because of the win streaks you don't have to win half of your games. This is aggro druid. Now I can't play the juggler. I have to have zero power. Alright, oh, but now we're up against an aggro druid. Peacekeeper is vital here. But if he has a silence for his fell reaver then I'm in so much trouble. Well, he used one silence effect here. And that's good. So now we go with the master, I believe. I could also go with the peacekeeper. No, I need to save the peacekeeper for the fell reaver. I have to go with master. Okay, coining out the shredder. Yeah, ouch. <coughs> That's pretty harsh. I can silence it though. I think that's one of the best silence targets I can find on this deck. Let's try to go for the silence. Hit here. No. Didn't get the hit. Does he have swipe for next turn? Pretty crucial question. I think I have to take that four to the face. Makes the board a little bit less attractive to swipe. Another shredder. And I still have to save the peacekeeper. What if I just don't hit that shredder? I guess I could try that. Just hit face instead. Let's see if he has the fell reaver. If he has the fell reaver he wants to play it out. But this Divine Shield Taunt is not going to die this turn if he does that. If he uses his hero power to take down the Divine Shield, that's going to be some kind of a tempo loss for him. I guess I will take that four to the face here. Get up some taunts. I'm down to 18 though, but Tyrion turn is closing in. He has used one silence. He might not have a second silence. And if he has a second silence, well this 3-3 Divine Shield taunt is pretty attractive of a target. I'm getting lower, but I still have a chance. It's always dangerous to get low against Druid though. There's the swipe. Now he gets a board clear actually. With hero power. I can't play Tyrion yet. One turn away from Tyrion. No beast you don't drop from legend. That's why in the low legend ranks people play all sorts of fun decks. Because they have got to legend and they know they can't drop from it. But you have to try really hard to get to the top legend where you get the BlizzCon points. I 
still don't want to use the peacekeeper. Guess I'll use the Argus. I wanted to play something. I couldn't just play nothing. It's not a traditional acro druid. Acro druid doesn't play ancient of lore. That's pretty interesting. I guess I want to kill the ancient of lore. And play Tyrion. I can use the weapon charge here. So let's see, he has another silence left. Has he found his second silence? Can I find value from Tyrion or not? I'm down to 17, so I'm getting pretty vulnerable to combo. But he had such an aggressive opener. But this turned out not to be Acro Druid after all. I was so expecting those Fell Reavers. But now I don't know what he has in his hand. Oh wow. That's a big deal. So is he going to be able to combo me down next turn? Tyrion is going to have to kill the... the Emperor. Then I can play Knife Juggler. And Hero Power. I guess I play one Peacekeeper to get another Juggle. trade into that one. So now I have a large board and he shouldn't be able to combo me down. Not through two taunts anyway. Even with the Emperor discount. Even double combo which is 22. But there's 20... F there's just too much health to go through. And if he plays the double combo he can't hero power so he can't activate the Watchmen to attack. The moves he made just looked so much like he's trying to pull off a double combo on me. Some kind of combo is coming, at least to clear. And now he can also hero power if he uses just one combo. No, he goes for the full double combo, but that does not kill me. But does he have a follow-up that will kill me? Oh no, if he has a Force of Nature follow-up, then I will die to that. I'm dead to the Force of Nature. Can I kill him? 5... 11, 12... 13, 14... I kill him if I get two juggles to face. I have a 25% chance to kill him. Now I have a 50% chance to kill him. Yes. Got it. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.